Hi there guys, in this video we're going to take a bit more of a look at a Gigabyte GA AEC370 Gaming K5 motherboard. Now this is a motherboard I did do an unboxing for and I've been asked quite a few times a bit more information about how it works and things like that. Uh, so when I did get the motherboard, it, the bias was around, I think was F2, and this didn't allow me to run my memory at anything higher than 2133, which I know Horizon does like the faster memory speeds, but it just it, all the time would just pretty much crash and go default back to 2133. So I was waiting for the bias to become non-beta before I could try. So now F3 is out, which is supposed to have better memory support. I straight away went back into the BIOS to see if I could actually get it. Now, if things don't work, it keeps rebooting and then it defaults back to what it was. And everything I tried with any memory speed, it just didn't want to know. So now F3 BIOS is out, which is the more updated one. This does allow support for my memory to run at 3200. Uh, I also have started to look at overclocking the CPU as well. Bear in mind that I'm only using the stock cooler, so that is going to limit potential quite a lot. I did want to put an AO cooler on it in the future, but at the time it was just something that was going to cost extra money. And when you get a cooler provided with the CPU, I thought I'd just use that for the time being until I can sort something out a bit better. So anyway, this is some of the settings I've set up, so if you're interested. So on to the first tab which is to do with our frequencies. So on the first option I've set the EZ overclock tuner to DDR3200. I'm not entirely sure what that does to be honest but I thought I'd set it to that to match the memory. On the clock control and host values leave those alone you won't get any advantages for those. For the clock ratio, I've set it to 37, so this will mean the chip will run at 3700. This is the same as the chip will boost on a single core, but this will be all the cores at the same time. Um, like I said, I do want to try and get that a bit higher, but it does seem to be that my chip is a little bit stubborn. I've seen some people out there put in 37 without having to put any extra voltage, but my chip won't actually respond to that and does need a little bit more voltage to even get to 3.7. And then for XMP, I've just used Profile 1, which is obviously what the memory set up to run, which is 3200. So next onto our voltages page, here you can see I've added it to boost a little bit more voltage to get the core to be stable. By the looks of it, it was a little bit under voltage to be honest. Um, I know some people can get the chip to run at 3.7 without any extra voltage, and then it starts to becoming a losing battle, uh, trying to get to 3.8, 3.9, etc. I know the chip will kind of cap out around about 4 gigahertz, but to get 3.7 is pretty good to me. Uh, I did find the heat starting to get up a bit. So here I've added a bit more to the V-Col. Uh, I left everything else alone because there's not much point, I don't think. Um, I've still got to get the kind of um, way where the CPU throttles up and down. I've got to get that working. So this is what I said, this overclock is a bit uh, experimental at the time being. But hopefully it gives you some idea. So with those settings applied, you can see now we're back in Windows and we're loading it up. Basically what I want to do here is to see if the chip is still okay and to see what the sort of maximum heat levels are. So as you can see, the processor is running at 3700. However, the temperature seems to be getting up to 75 degrees. Now I did take off the stock paste and replace it with MX4. I didn't notice any change though, which is very strange. Uh, as you can see here, all cores are, are at 100% and it's running at 3.7. So maybe something I need to look into is an AI cooler for this system. Maybe that would improve things massively and maybe it allow me to go to 3.8 or even 3.9, I'm not too sure. Uh, I do notice the stock cooler is starting to make a little bit more noise now. Obviously it's, it's starting to struggle to keep up. So I don't think I'm going to push this too much further. So hopefully that's answered a few of your questions. If you do like the video, please leave a like. Another thing that does help me massively is subscribing if you haven't already done so. Anyway guys, take care and have fun out there.